are at the Bizard Juxtuka. <laughs> I don't know, they kind of leave out vowels in this language. <laughs> we don't know how to say it, but it means pearl. So um, we're gonna go see this cave and there's some sort of animal that only lives in this cave, some insect. I wonder if we'll see that. Nice. We'll see. Okay, it says it's well maintained, but we'll see. It's really cool, like everywhere around there's these like ancient freaking walls like, like if they hold in uh cattle or something but they like make everything out of it you want a house they just pile up rocks <laughs> you need a fence you pile up rocks we don't actually know what it's for we haven't seen any animals in them like no. what are they for i think they're a thousand year old gate fence let's see looks like this might be the entrance all right we are inside the cave looks like a bear had a bad day in here to the end. Pretty cool. So the lady in the cave told us we had to come check this out. This dude started to build this and then he ran out of money. They just like pick up rocks and start building. Little houses, or big houses, right on the water. Too bad you ran out of money. This would have been a nice, <laughs> nice little sheltered thing on the Adriatic. The so Kirk is the largest island in Croatia, right out in the middle of the Adriatic Sea. That's actually Croatia proper over there. And here we are in this little cove. Some old buildings over here. And then that's the one that the lady was telling us about where the guy built it. Probably off the radar and then ran out of money. And then up top is where the cave was. We parked way over there and came along. It's kind of neat how you can see the little, it's like they build little walls. I guess that's to keep livestock in the right spot. It's pretty cool. Be prepared for ankle twisty from the Croatia. This is not exactly a smooth trail. Good thing I did those ankle It's pretty cool. There's like a little building back there and then you can see the fence around it. Nice little grassy area. There's just like tons of these walls just everywhere. We are inside one of them. A little family would have this or something like each person has their own like little little hut still using some of the old parts.
So we're walking through the old city, came through the arches, and heading down to one of the next tourist attractions. I have never been to a duck boutique, but there's always your first. <laughs> Pluck your quack. So I made it to the Temple of the Augustus. To go inside? It's no. two euros to go inside. Two euros. Well, we could if you want. Okay, so this is from ChatGPT, okay? So the mosaic of the Punishment of Durst is a well-preserved Roman-era floor mosaic located in Pula. It's sometimes also referred to as the Punishment of Durst or the Exposition of Durst. The mosaic depicts a scene from Greek mythology. She was the wife of Lycris, the king of Thebes, and she mistreated her husband's former wife. That bitch. Oh, uh, An Antiope and Antiope's sons, Zethus and Amphion. The mosaic shows the Durst's punishment being tied to a wild bull by Antiope's, Antiope's sons as revenge for her cruelty. How dare she be mean wow. to his previous wife? Ah, let's go look. Okay. Wow. There you have it. So we had a little cargo by, but here's more. Uh, this was discovered in 3rd century AD and believed to have been part of a large Roman house, likely the atrium of a grand residence. This type of detailed narrative mosaic was common in wealthy Roman homes and was the way for owners to show off their wealth and cultural knowledge. Today, the mosaic can be seen on a street named after it, something I can't pronounce, and is protected by a modern structure, this amazing <laughs> modern structure. It's an important artifact. To, it provides insight into the domestic culture and life of the Roman era Pula in the broader region. So basically, your current wife is mean to your ex-wife. So you hook your current wife to a wild bull and let her go. Not a good idea, I don't think. Uh, and then you, and then you make it a mosaic on the floor on the of floor. your house <laughs> to show all the future wives don't be mean to the ex-wives because you know what I did to her. <laughs> Only Romans can come up with this type of drama. Seriously. But it was hard to find. This was not like a prominent, I mean, look at this. this we are weird. in a back alley we thought we were gonna and I kind of thought we shouldn't go down it, <laughs> especially since we but don't we blend it. in Check ever GPT. anywhere we yeah. go, mostly because of the backpacks. Yeah, but we're well prepared. How so? Because I got like a knife and a space blanket and a first aid kit and <laughs> thermal layer and rain pants, oh, rain jacket, a so bottle of brandy. So we're prepared for anything We've but being mugged. No, you have a knife. <laughs> I have a knife. <laughs> We have an aperitif. I got a propensity <laughs> right. for kung fu if I have to. <laughs>